Hello, 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 everybody. Thank you for joining me today. I am Darlene, and I will get right into shuffling for your reading today. We are asking, who is coming towards you? So if you're looking for someone, uh, I mean this in a romantic way, so let's see what's coming towards you, and I will just get right into shuffling for you. Thank you all for being here today. So who is coming toward my collective here? Please show me, Spirit, who is coming toward my collective in love. Thank you guys again for being here. I know there are a lot of good readers here on YouTube, and I'm grateful when you tune in to me, and I'm about to lose the whole deck in my lap here. Hold on. Um, and if you like what I do, you know the drill. Please hit that like button. I am just getting started here on YouTube, so that is very helpful to grow my channel and also get these messages out to other people who might benefit from them okay oh also i do um a lot of other kinds of readings i do deceased loved ones reading so if you have someone that you have lost to the other side you might want to check out that playlist and I also have other, like particularly Scorpio readings, Twin Flame Soulmate readings, all that good stuff. Okay, and oh no, one last piece of business, and I promise I'll get into your reading here. I'm going to go live this Sunday evening, March the 10th at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you are subscribed and uh, you that interests you, please go there. You can go and find that link if you go to my page and click on post in my community post. It has the link. It's called Live in the Hive, and I'll be doing readings there. So get on board there if you want, and we'll, I think we'll have fun. Okay, into your reading now. <clears throat> this is someone who's not able to move on, and typically... Mm, okay, let me see. Let me see. Disappointment, realizing they made a mistake. Again, can't walk away. This is somebody from your past, apparently, because they're saying they can't move on. Or it can, well, there's a couple of meanings. They can't move on. Could be from you. They're saying they can't move on from you. To me, the Empress can be a person, but it can also be an, inter an energy of abundance and creativity and love and nurturing, but she's in the reverse, so it's certainly a lack of those things. Let me read some more here and see what else comes out. Four of Pentacles is someone who's holding on very tightly. This is the Miser card. They're um, saving their coins for a rainy day. This could also be in the reverse, somebody who is struggling with their money or holding on too tight. So again, I get the vibe that this is probably somebody from your past also because of the next card. Somebody who's maybe not wanting to let you go, even though there's no fertility or has not been in the past any fertility here because she is pregnant and fertile in this photo, <clears throat> in this card depiction, they're not able to move on. This is somebody who wants to come back. The Eight of Cups is um, walking away to your happy whatever that is for you in the distance, but this person can't do that. They're not able to walk away. Um, Gosh, I've been getting, it's interesting. I was just thinking back how many readings lately. At least three readings where I've gotten the fool in reverse. Um, well, anyway, interesting. So I would, mm, yeah, go and check my playlist out because I've got some readings. My last two or three readings have really kind of blended together. I did, uh, the last have been collective readings. Um, what are they hiding and who to this is who's coming toward you and what was the one before the oh, twin flame soulmate relationships the fool in reverse is somebody that is either reckless or afraid to start new afraid to start over afraid to begin that fool's journey and while they were up in their head about it and really confused 
now they're starting to get clarity about this could be you about your worth and again the last reading I did that was some of these similar cards the last reading what are they hot no that was the soulmate reading for the divine feminine and again there's no gender in tarot but this is a woman on the card so that's why I'm saying she she doesn't need anyone. She has her own money. She's self-sufficient. She's very confident. She takes care of her family. She's nurturing. She knows her self-worth. So what I'm seeing here is this person now is coming to the realization, coming to the clarity of the worth of this queen here. And I take that to be you, although... <clears throat> Now, there's a couple of meanings here, as you hear me say, if you've been here before. Kings and queens in my readings are people. So I've got two queens here. One is in the upright. One is in the reverse. One, this is not for everybody, but one way to translate that is this person was someone who decided to focus on stability instead of love. Now, that could be symbolic I mean that could be literal or that could be two people someone who represented stability versus someone who represented love and they basically chose stability over love right and that could if there's not another person that could just mean that's what they did in their own life they decided to choose stability over love and they held back their cup of love <clears throat> and the four of swords in the reverse. This is somebody, to me, that they're not done healing from this. So, yeah, but... Mm, interesting. The devil in the upright is restrictions. It's things that are holding you back. It can be addictions. It can be people. It can be... Uh, health issues or a job and the reverse it's saying I'm being set free from those things and the six of wands is victory maybe this person is finally finding their way toward um, also this could be because yeah I started to say it but I wanted to okay see the next card the nine of wands in the reverse can be reckless extreme in and out energy it could be someone who's afraid to commit in the upright this is called the player card somebody who's a lot of fun but they're in and out you can't depend on them and even more for me in the reverse or or it can mean somebody who's willing that's why i was hesitating this could be saying i'm i know that um I'm healing from this toxicity, these things that were holding me back. They're finally losing their grip on me. I'm victorious over that. And what they may be victorious over is this reckless player part of themselves. And now I'm trying, I'm finding balance in my life. This can also be saying to me, and they got karma for it. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. Because I realized I was too much in my ego, in my pride. And I realize now that I, this is winning at all costs. I didn't care who I hurt in the process of getting what I wanted. And that put me out in the cold. And it may have put you out in the cold too. This person has this in this artist's depiction in this deck. The key to open that door is right there. All she has to do is lift her head and walk over and pick it up. But she's not doing it. She's stuck in her pain and lamenting what she did wrong here. Because she didn't learn. She didn't know. The Page of Pentacles in reverse for me is somebody who didn't learn their lesson. They weren't willing probably to change <clears throat> to get what they, their Ten of Cups, their happiness, or to give you what you wanted and so yeah this could be telling me that either they were not single 
again, if this person was in another relationship and they weren't willing to give you that, um, they weren't, hold on, this Ten of Cups can be too much of a good thing, an illusion, and they, the illusion was that they couldn't give you um, stability because they were already committed elsewhere. But this can also be they they don't have st financial stability, their money may not be good, they're dependent on someone else, and possibly they lied to you about that. There was deception here about a love or a choice. This is a breakup to me. And because they didn't come and offer you anything, this is the slowest moving night in the deck, but he's at a standstill when it's in reverse for me as a reader. And there was some cycle here that they, um, no, this is the world, excuse me, different deck. Um, yeah, but same thing, this, they want this cycle, they don't, <laughs> I've been doing readings today, y'all, now I'm getting tired, I can't put a sentence together. They don't want this cycle to end if this is a repeating cycle, or it could be that whatever they were doing here and this toxic energy was, they're realizing now, was a cycle that they kept repeating. I think that this is telling me in the reverse that they, they didn't stand and fight for this relationship. Yeah, they did. I just feel they didn't stand and fight for this relationship is what I'm hearing. Now, let's see, what do we want to ask? Let's go to the Rider Waite. So this is clearly, I believe, somebody from your past that you've known. Now, what I want to ask is, what are their intentions or possible actions towards you? Now that we know who this is, what might their potential actions be towards you in the near future? All right, let's ask. Again, reminding y'all, if you're subscribed, you'll get notified when I go live on Sunday night. And you can uh, potentially get a reading. I won't promise I'll get to everybody, but we'll see what comes up there. Yeah, there's that card again in the upright. Yeah, they're telling me now, now, because it was in the reverse. Now they're willing to stand and fight for this. They realize you have options, I think is what they're telling me here, but let's see. They could just be confused. They're not sure how to move forward here. All right. Thank you, Spirit. A few more cards here, please. What is this person's potential actions in the near future? Yeah, they're, hope, they're hoping to find balance. Or maybe they're saying they're hoping you'll be patient with them. Hang on a card sideways there. Um, yeah, they want to turn that wheel <clears throat> in the upright, the wheel of fortune. They're hoping fate will intervene possibly to this uh, situation. A couple more cards, please, Spirit. A couple more. Thank you. Got three? Three? Maybe four. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, they do feel passionate toward you. I think they're afraid they, they, um, that you won't collaborate with them, that you don't want anything to do with them, and that you will give them that. <clears throat> you will tell them that this is the Knight of Swords. Is, it is communication. It's very fast communication. So you could hear from this person very soon. But it's disappointing news. So it could be just saying either they're, they are afraid they are going to disappoint you. You are dis disappointing them somehow. Bad news. Telling them you, they're afraid maybe that you're telling them you're moving on. Moving on to calmer waters. Moving on. I'm... Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Four pentacles in reverse. Four pentacles in reverse. This can also mean I'm letting go. I'm not holding on tight anymore. I'm letting go. I think that's what they're saying. Either they are, 
want to move on to calmer waters with you, they're not letting go, or you're saying their potential energies, they're afraid that when they come to you, you'll say, I've moved on, I'm, I'm letting this go, I'm not holding on anymore, I'm not, <clears throat> um, it just wasn't the right time for us, I'm not willing to look at this for the long term anymore uh, because of this deception, because you lied and cheated and deceived me, and I'm not willing to invest in this anymore. So there's no curiosity about what this could be like. There's no you know, new adventure there, so to speak. Oh, and it could be saying, because of this Queen of Pentacles. Remember we had her over here? So if there's another person in the mix, it could be because you chose, this person chose someone over you. It could also be saying, because you chose stability over love. And now there's all these sleepless nights and anxiety about this, what could have been love, what is love. In the upright, they're saying there is love there. So this person is telling me. Also, they could be saying, <clears throat> I've realized that I put stability over you and that's caused me a lot of sleepless nights. But now I realize that I need to focus on love that love needs to be my priority, not stability and money. And that's what will get me to my happily ever after, my Ten of Pentacles. That if I focus on love, I can get what I want. I can get, the money will come in other words. I just have to get a new perspective. So I may be taking a little time out and I realize if I, I'm afraid I'm dropping the ball here that this is going to overwhelm you or me. And there's that Queen of Wands again. We won't go there. <laughs> okay. Um, so I feel like, yeah, I think this is two-sided. Again, you, you may hear from them. Knight of Swords here. Um, I just feel like they're, I feel they're confused. They don't know what to do. They're, they don't, how maybe to approach you to achieve this balance. And they're hoping you'll be patient with them while they turn, this could be literally while they turn their fortunes around. Maybe their money again is not good and they're working on that. Um, but they do feel passionate. They, they want this passionate new beginning. I think they're just saying they're afraid you're not going to reciprocate with them yep okay any final anything here let me see if this little deck has anything to say any final messages here today please spirit for who's coming toward my collective who's coming toward my collective the page of wands in the upright this time okay well, we like that. Um, so this could be someone who's, again, who's curious, who's, uh, this can be communication, somebody who has been in hermit mode or in isolation, who has potentially lost their confidence or could have been somebody who was manipulative, but seven of cups again, twice. They were confused or they had options in the past. Yeah, and maybe they got judged for it because of this Queen of Wands. They, she's my third party queen, in case you don't know. Or it just could be this person's energy was that. The Queen of Wands is somebody who's, uh, she's a go-getter and she's the sexy queen and she turns heads and all that, but she tends to be more shallow and self-absorbed. And so maybe they're saying that's how they acted <clears throat> in the past so I think this is definitely somebody from your past and of course I don't know if you'll want them back that's totally up to you but this looks like uh, this is who's coming towards you again <laughs> so you guys decide what you want to do with them I am not here to make that decision for you of course and I wish you the best of luck and guidance making that decision but Thanks for being here. Thanks for uh, watching my reading and hitting that like button. I'm very grateful for each and every one of you. And I will see you all again very soon. Take care.